Well, I redid the uh, DIY flagpole antenna. I uh, have pretty good uh, figures on SWR between 10 meters and 80 meters. It's doing pretty good. 40 did have to compromise and put very one ground ra radial about four inches deep and about t uh, 10 foot long. The rest are very acceptable to me. All right, briefly, uh, I'm going to do an update on the uh, DIY flagpole got from Harbor Freight $69 and I think they were on sale for $54 the other day and uh, basically this is the finished version I got I don't know if you can see way up there hopefully my hat cam is pointing the right direction there is a uh, 80 meter uh, uh, inductor, I believe they call it, up there, tuned for um, 80 meters at, or 75, 80, at uh, 3.9, no, let's see, 3.916, uh, I believe it is, that's where, or 3.20, got a good sharp dip there, and that allows me to get 80 meters. It's on the very top and in between there's um, I don't know if you can see it in between there's these uh, uh, hose clamps and this uh, uh, this pipe as it comes from Harbor Freight is is not conductive between the joints there's like a plastic thing in there you you twist it and so it doesn't make a contact and, and this coating actually keeps it from making a contact so it's very easy to sh scrape off some of the coating on either side and what i got is let's look around this side in between each one is a uh, a grounding strap piece of grounding strap every single one of the joints up there has that piece of grounding strap between the knuckles or whatever you call those things that tighten it up and like I say, up in the top is that uh, 80 meter resonator. And uh, I've gotten a good SWR. I got, well, I'd have to read my figures over there. I got, I got a note, on, and plus I got a graphic. I'll put it at the beginning there. As far as the, uh, uh, the box, the project box, it's just straight pass through one. The center goes to this. This is the uh, uh, the res resonator, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. It's the active part of the antenna. And the other side, um, the the ground of the, the coax that's up underneath here goes to the ground here. Now I did make a compromise. I had to. I'm no longer using a uh, a shunt coil. I didn't like that solution. So instead I got a, it's about a 10 foot, maybe 12 foot wire. I think that's about 10 gauge wire. That's buried just over there to there, about four inches deep. So, and that brought down on 40 meters, the uh, SWR, SWR to under two. And it's about one six or something. I'd have to read those figures again, look at them. So when I want, it, it of course it uh, I, I dug the hole for the um, I dug the hole for the uh, and put the cement you know put the uh, Harbor Freight comes with a uh, a PVC um, section of pipe I don't remember how long maybe three feet and uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the center part off to off of this off of this that's very easy just take it off and of the active part of the antenna and uh, from there all I have to do is lift it out so I could show you Ooh. let me see uh, watch out for different wires and things uh, let me go back here <laughs> it's very light by the way uh, I could also if I wanted to do one uh, if I wanted to do one at a time, 
I could unloose uh, one side of the the pipe and uh, or the where the knuckle is on the top side of each knuckle and and bring it down collapse it so nothing special on there but it's not contacting it's not contacting at all it is I have a piece of down in there which you won't be able to see down in there before uh, about about three inches it's a piece of plastic that insulates this pipe from touching the ground so this stays it doesn't get grounded this part doesn't get grounded at all uh, and the PVC around it keeps it from uh, getting grounded so let me put the well let's show the top of it um, this is I've had this it's a Hustler RM80 uh, it's a lower power version I think it will still do two or three hundred watts I'm not sure in a same way as I scrape some of the piping off here and and put uh, a uh, hose clamp against there and uh, tighten it up good and then have a little small hose clamp uh, tighten the other end of the of the braiding the ground braid onto the bottom of this resonator 80 meter resonator and uh, I did tune it you now these resonators you have a couple of spots where you could loosen up and then you could tune it so I tuned it for 3.20 works out great there so I'm gonna put this thing back up into its spot I just keep it this way and this is what I use when I play it around outside here instead of hooking up my uh, instead of hooking up my uh, um, instead of hooking up my 17 foot uh, collapsible whip and five ground radios which I do for POTA parks on the air I just uh, leave that for just parks on there and I leave the um, hopefully this camera can see down there and I leave the uh, And I just leave this set up with the coax and I just grab the coax and away I go. If I really want to, I could, could have put a switch over to my, and had another piece of coax coming from my hex beam, but I don't really want to. I want to have a uh, portable set up there, sort of. Because I do run my FT891 off of a battery when I'm sitting out here. Oh, this is semi portable I guess. Yeah, that's all I have. This wire's stiff enough, it just keeps things right to where they're at. And of course the grounding. I don't know if you see the grounding. It is a, uh, about a three foot, uh, I think it was an army tent pole or something. I've had that for ages. I scraped it off with a, because it was rusted around the outside, I scraped it off with a, a a uh, bench grinder so it has good contact all the way down there of course another hose clamp to keep it cheap that's what I have around so there we go oh I want to get into the Sun and there it is that's basically what I got set up and I'll tell you here in a minute my neighbors are wondering why I'm talking to myself I think they think I'm crazy anyway okay um let me see, point this down, hopefully you can see it, um, 10 meters, uh, 1.72 SWR, 12 meters, 1.70 SWR, 15 meters, 1.41 SWR, 17 meters, 1.18 SWR, 20 meters, 1.22 SWR, 30 meters, 1.53 SWR, 40 meters, I was able to uh, get it, uh, well I could have swore I had it, I guess it's about 2.3, that's about the best I could get. And uh, 80 meters is a 1.2 SWR at 3.920, 1.2 SWR at 
1.2 or 3.920. So that's what I did. And I think I'll play around with the radio a little bit. We were out at the park earlier, or the city park, walking my dogs, and my son had his portable. Uh, he has a little um, ICOM. It's a communications receiver. I can't remember the 30 or something, R30. They don't sell them anymore. But he was actually, we were walking out there, and he had 10 meters out, and we were getting some good, strong parks on the air stations out there receiving. So let's see what we got here. And uh, hopefully this is showing most of this. Let me see, go to, let me check that real quick. Hold up, hold up. Yeah, it's, uh, it's less than 1.5. I think it's about 1.4. Uh, let me see. Uh, change it to not 50. I don't like the way they do this thing. Okay, here's 10 meters. Let's see if we got anything. It's kind of late in the day. Uh, I think it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. No, let's see. 2019. Uh, that's UTC time. Let's see if we got anything at all. Oh, 